Hello everybody, it is Zach here with some Fallout Shelter um, gameplay for you guys. And actually today, um, I am going to be running through the tutorial for you guys. And I um, will actually uh, give you um, some tips of my own um, as we uh, go along with the tutorial um, to fully prepare you um, for this game. And um, Tori will actually be... Um, playing this as well soon on a different profile and most likely maybe a different computer um, because of the fact that uh, well I mean it would be boring actually if uh, just one of us played it and it wouldn't make sense if both of us played it because we can't both play it but um, anyways um, Fallout Shelter is not only an app um, on uh, iOS but also on Android and now which is what I am recording um, a PC um, downloaded game um, and uh, that's really um, amazing actually um, they're using um, the uh, Bethesda actually yeah Bethesda is using um, a Bethesda.net launcher to run this game um, it's currently in its uh, beta stage but you can still log in you can still play and soon they will start saving um, your uh, game saves um, into their cloud uh, which is really cool and um, a couple things uh, real quick uh, you could actually now, I found out a way, or, um, I, I found this out, uh, finally, um, how to record full screen, um, with the, uh, having the little, uh, Bandicam tab, as you can see, up in the, um, left corner, so we don't have to split up, um, hopefully we won't have to split up this, uh, gameplay, um, video into, um, parts, uh, but, um, with that being said, hopefully this won't slow down the, uh, uh, FPS, but now we could safely know um, where we are without, you know, um, necessarily um, messing up um, any of the uh, video. Like, I mean, because we still know where we are um, when we actually uh, record, because we could get, you know, look at the clock that we have in here um, when we uh, do our videos and streams, uh, or actually just our videos, my bad. Um, but uh, the problem is it's not exact, and uh, there might be skipping. Um, parts and uh, so this should um, hopefully fix that problem uh, but anyways let's see if this works uh, I tried it before and it looked like it worked but you never know let's try launching oh wait before we get into the game let me read the uh, brief for you um, not the build the perfect bolt um, I won't go into too much detail um, so we don't you know run out of time um, but uh, okay so the overview uh, Fault Shelter puts you in control of a state-of-the-art underground vault from Vault Tech. Uh, build the perfect vault, keep your dwellers happy, and protect them from the dangers of the wasteland. Okay, so now this is actually like a civilization game. Um, underground, of course, for the most part. And um, it's actually a great game for those of you who want to play Fallout but can't because you don't have an Xbox or a, a decent computer to run it or uh, the PS4. <laughs> um, this is just the perfect game for those of you who don't want um, any lag but still want to experience um, some uh, Fallout gameplay. Alrighty, now uh, I was playing on uh, Vault 7, but we are actually going to, you also have settings and uh, you can check out the website, you can quit, you can window it, um, window it that is, window it, my bad, I'm saying it so fast, uh, but uh, we are going to, um, we're playing it full screen right now, so um, it looks better for you guys, um, but we are going to go ahead and make a new vault, which is the one that we will be playing on, um, at least when I play. Okay, we have to determine the vault number, and of course we're not going to do survival mode, because um, that will mess up our gameplay. Let's go ahead with vault 1, uh, no, not 9, not, 100, uh, not 959, um, just 1, there we go. Okay, let's create the vault. Um, okay, congratulations, vault tech has selected you to be the overseer of vault 1. Um, the vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland, of course. Um, as overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Uh, each room has a special attribute it uses, assign dwellers with the best special um, to make them happy and produce extra resources. Uh, vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job, of course. Let's see if we can get an A plus the next time we play. 
Oh, and by the way, guys, um, this isn't uh, official, but we are probably going to be making um, the Throne 1, um, which is actually what we renamed it. Um, it, it used to be the Throne 180 um, gaming system, but we're probably going to be making... Uh, going to be making the uh, Throne One All in One Entertainment um, System, and uh, probably should be finished by around uh, 2025. No promise, guys. Uh, no promises. Uh, um, but uh, we're, we're just saying uh, it might be ready by then. Um, but we shall see. That is a long way off. Actually, really not that long. Uh, but anyways, helpful hint. Uh, welcome to your new Vol Overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. Now, I have played this game, um, but for those of you who haven't um, seen it yet, this should be helpful for you guys. First, let's build the room. Click on the hammer icon to build, a, to build the build menu. Okay, a power generator. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that right here. Okay, so now we need dwellers to make the power gener uh, generator produce power. Okay. Look, the new dwellers have shown up at the vault door. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's look at their stats. Uh, okay, so this guy has really good strength, so obviously he's going to work better in the generator room. Okay. We have to drag him. Ah, right into the room. There we go. Okay, and we also have to drag her into the room, although she... Doesn't really look like she has great strength, but that's okay. And uh, since um, we are a sweet institute, not just a uh, sweet clan, that's why we are making the um, Throne One Entertainment System, the On One Entertainment System, rather. Uh, now that the dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double click on the room, take a closer look. They chat. Um, when you can actually see them chatting when you uh, double click, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, okay, so we can rush if we need extra resources. But there is a chance of an incident, but don't be afraid, because it will never happen on the first rush that you do. Great, you successfully um, completed your first rush and collected caps. Let's build another room. Okay, so we use caps as a currency, just like the actual Fallout game. Uh, let's build the diner right, I'm going to say, right here. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's build one more room. That's a water treatment. Of course. Definitely need water. Let's place that right here. Okay, great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters to keep track of your resource needs. Of course. We will be careful. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the vault door. But that is for another episode, guys. Now that you know the basic rules of the over Overseer role, um, keep expanding your vault. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. Okay, so um, I will give a little more information for you guys. Um, hopefully this will be helpful towards your gameplay too. Okay, so um, up here, if you click on the gear symbol, you can actually see everything that's going on inside and outside of the vault. Um, you have the your happiness right here, which should be pretty high all the time. Your resource levels, the amount of caps you have, uh, your um, the amount of uh, nuclear coal quantums you have, which speed up um, actions. You can take a screenshot, of course. You can zoom in, zoom out, uh, pan all around. Of course, there's rocks that um, you will eventually need to destroy um, in order to make room for your rooms. Build more rooms. Um, you could get lunch boxes by completing specific activities or quests, um, which contain special items. You could get pets, too. Um, we'll go into more depth with the hints later. Um, okay, you need an overseer office for quests, other quests. Um, you can see everything you have in your inventory. Um, there is, of course, an almanac for you. And you can go into the settings and uh, change practically many uh, different aspects of the game. Um, okay, so that's it for um, me, um, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, leave a like if you like this video. And I shall see you soon. My bad. Alrighty. Take care, guys. And God bless.
and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.